A dispatch from the Presidential Strategic Communication Unit reads in part, and I quote, The Office of Public Communication Secretary and Government Spokesman does not fit within the new structure of President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration and has consequently been shut, end quote effectively ending what Kenyans had over the years been accustomed to as the voice of the government. Instead, the Secretary of Communication and State House spokesperson will take the lead in communicating government in its entirety. It's an office that has over the years been at the center of controversy, with many questioning its existence, often because it presented contradicting positions with the government spokesperson saying one thing and the government officials saying another and what was often regarded as knee-jerk comments, often bordering on the ludicrous. Kuna watu kwa nataka kunyamba Kenya, watu waribie nini? Hewa, atu ataki. Hey, waendo waka nyambe nyambe inchi zingine. Si hapa Kenya, atu ataki watu waribie hewa. Mudhui Karioki, the second and last holder of the government spokesperson's post, has now been reassigned within government. He too seemed to attract controversy effortlessly as with the recent push and pull over the security detail accorded to the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. He is forever mourning that the government is not giving him recognition, yet he has refused to return six government vehicles. If Raila is a co-principal with Kibaki, and Kibaki has 25 vehicles, where is the justice in denying the Prime Minister? That comfort, just a little comfort. When I became vice president, I didn't see the need to dispossess Mzee Moody. All communication from the government, and particularly relating to the president, will be issued through the State House spokesperson Manoa Esipisu, a role that is already playing out. Willis Saburu, Citizen Live at 9, Nairobi.